Maplers. Welcome to the latest content update spotlight from MapleStory. You asked for it, and now it's here. Masteria has been returned to its former glory. All the classic quests you loved about Masteria before those pesky aliens invaded are now back in the game with cool new rewards. Let's take a look. The Phantom Forest is once again a mysterious maze, returning to its roots and challenging all players to make it out alive. Using the portals located throughout the forest, you'll need to find the correct order of escape if you have plans to reach Crimsonwood Keep. In addition to quest experience and rewards being updated, all the denizens of the Phantom Forest, including Stormbreakers and Elder Wraiths, will be updated with new loot drops. But that's not all. The level requirement for not just the Phantom Forest quests, but all Masteria quests have been raised to 90. This gives players seeking a challenge that much more incentive to get their characters into fighting shape. Speaking of challenges, the fearsome Phantom Forest bosses have received a boost in difficulty, which means you'll really have to watch your step with Bigfoot and not lose your head against the Headless Horseman. You'll have spring in your step once more as the Valley of Heroes jump quest hops back into MapleStory. The road to Crimsonwood Keep has never been more perilous, as this quest will have you jumping gaps and dodging one-hit kills. Only the most nimble players can navigate through this treacherous gauntlet. Classic Phantom Forest and Crimsonwood Keep story quests are back allowing veteran and new players to experience these fun, story-driven quests to receive brand new rewards. Classic mobs such as Typhons and Crimson Trees return as well, so get in there and dish out nostalgic beatdowns for updated loot drops. You asked for it, now it's here. The Twisted Masters of Crimsonwood Keep are now much more challenging. For example, Red Nerd's health and defense have each more than doubled, making him more of a tank. While Margana, Relic, and Hasalf have more than three times their attack power as before. So gear up and get ready to rumble. We rebuilt this city not on rock and roll, but from the ashes of the alien invasion. New Leaf City has been returned to its former glory. The clock tower is now accessible, allowing players the ability to once again gain entry to Bigger Ben. So if you have the time, explore Bigger Ben and clock out with updated loot drops and quest rewards. And if you think city life is a jungle, just wait until you explore the Krakian jungle. The loot drops and quest rewards have all been updated, filling your jungle journey with unexpected surprises. So now that you know what's waiting for you, get those characters up to level 90 and dive into the Masteria fun. Finally, for those of you wanting a break from the Masteria action, gather up your friends and set sail on the merchant trade voyage from Comerci. This party is exclusive to players that have completed the solo trade voyage up to Herbtown and are level 140 and above. To begin your adventure, you'll set out on one of three random shipping routes, with each one giving a bonus in the form of extra experience, extra Comerci Denaro, or even more boss battles. In addition to obtaining bonus party zone experience, you can compete with your traveling companions for bonus Comerci Denaro by defeating the most enemies during the voyage. It's a great way to get your hands on some sweet water gear for your new characters. So set sail and test your sea legs on this rollicking thrill ride. For more information on this update and the latest MapleStory news and events, go to maplestory.nexon.net. Enjoy your new Masteria adventures, Maplers! <laughs>